Reggae Just Extra with Ross Dennis. Recently, Cindy Breakspear, mother of Bob Marley's son, Damien Jr. Gone Marley, penned a heartfelt tribute to the late singer as the world celebrated his birthday on February 6th. Cindy Breakspear remembers some fond times with Bob as she labeled him the people's hero. Unfortunately, her post caused quite a stir on social media as some fans criticized her for what they call disrespect towards Bob's wife, Rita Marley. Bob Marley's children, Ziggy Marley, Sidella, and Sharon Marley are now defending their mother, Rita Marley, and saluting her as no ordinary woman. This is the story of Rita Marley and Cindy Breakspear with Ras Dennis. You are now watching Reggae Gist Extra's Rita Marley and Cindy Breakspear's edition. On February 6th, Cindy Breakspear shared details of the places she and the reggae legend created countless memories. Bob, on what would have been your 79th birthday, I celebrate the incredible impact you've had globally. Cherish our amazing son Damien and reminisce about the beautiful times we shared from 56. Hope Road to your mother's home in Delaware and Miami, New York, Oakley Street in London, the Bahamas, Trinidad, and beyond. The memories are countless, but our love for you is endless. Happy birthday to the people's hero, loved and revered by all. In a suspicious response to this, Ziggy Marley posted, I admire Rita Marley, strength. Courage and dignity she is truly from a lineage of African queens, and it's not just because she is my mother I have truly seen and everyone who knows her how royal she is. Ziggy wrote on Instagram while sharing a black and white photo of his mother in her younger days. I've got stories from my childhood of her standing up under threat that to this day is etched in my memory. This woman is no ordinary woman. When a woman take a bullet in her head because she loves and stands with you and still show up days after to stand by your side again with no concern about her own safety it does something to a man. It tells a man something he will never forget and forever cherish a woman like that is impossible to find one in a billion billion, Ziggy said in captioning the image. Ziggy Marley's sister, Sharon, appears a little more direct in her comment on the post amid chatters about Rita and Cindy Breakspear to a woman who can walk in my mother's shoes. She is the real queen. That's just facts. No hard feelings. It should be noted that the full extent of Bob Marley and Cindy Breakspear's relationship was not captured in the Bob Marley, One Love biopic, although some scenes of her character with Bob were filmed in London during the movie's filming. Reggae historian and tour manager Copeland Forbes says any biopic about Bob Marley is incomplete without highlighting his relationship with Cindy Breakspear, the mother of Damien Marley. It has been going around that Cindy was not on the red carpet, and when I looked at everything, if they should do that, it's gonna create a backlash if the reason for doing that is to talk about the Mistress Saga. Forbes said about Breakspear's lack of appearance or physical involvement in the Bob Marley, One Love movie promotion. After three premieres, Damien is also noticeably absent from the One Love movie promotions, as he did not make any appearances at the red carpet premieres in Kingston, London, or Paris. The Welcome to Jam Rock singer goes on the Traffic Jam tour along with his brother Stephen, who is the musical director of the movie in two weeks. The movie is primarily about a volatile period in Bob Marley's life in the mid to late 1970s when he survived an attempted assassination and fled to England as political violence gripped Jamaica. The singer recorded his classic album Exodus during that period. Rita Marley's official Instagram account also shared a photo of herself with the i3s and Bob Marley at their concert at the Rainbow Theatre in London in June 1977. It was always beautiful when Bob came over mid-concert to connect with me and my sisters, she wrote. Said Ella Marley shared a comment on the post, the one and only. Many were called, but you were chosen. Go dear Mrs. Marley, said Ella wrote. Ziggy Marley also shared his original comment on another commenter's comment on Rita Marley's post. Yes, Mrs. Marley. I think Gong knew what he was doing until the end. The comment reads as the commenter seemingly takes a dig at Cindy Breakspear. I found that he wrote about Cindy. 
So then he just met Cindy and so I'm saying what? You had that song for Cindy and want me to sing it? I'm not singing. In this documentary video, Rita Marley said, I can remember we had this Exodus album, and he was doing this song that I found out that he wrote for Cindy when he just met Cindy and I said what? You wrote this song for Cindy and want me to sing. I am not singing it. In the same video, Cindy bragged, Yep, Turn Your Lights Down Low is my song. It has been said that all of those songs on that particular album were written at the time when we were at the height of our relationship. I know he was heavily criticized for it. Born Cynthia Jean Cameron Breakspear, the jazz musician and singer was crowned Miss World 1976 and soon after got involved in an intimate relationship with Bob Marley in the exact period that the film covers. The relationship lasted until Bob's passing in 1981 despite Marley's marital ties to Rita Marley, who was a producer of Bob Marley, One Love, along with her children Ziggy and Sid Ella Marley. At the time of Bob and Cindy's relationship, the reggae icon was also engaged in relationships with several women, including Pascaline Bongo and Yvette Crichton, who bore Bob's youngest child Makeda John Esther Marley in 1981 according to the book Rasta Heart, A Journey into One Love by Robert Roskind, three years after Breakspear gave birth to Damian Marley in 1978. This is the place to be for your reggae gist facts and culture. On the other hand, Alfreda Constanya Anderson was born on July 25, 1946 to parents Cynthia Beta Jarrett and Leroy Anderson. On February 10, 1966, Bob Marley married Alfreda Constantia Rita Anderson in Kingston, Jamaica. Marley had many children, three were born to his wife Rita, and one additional child was adopted from Rita's previous relationships as his own and they have the Marley name and then again, Rita had another child named Sarita Stewart in 1985, after Bob Marley passing in 1981. Mrs. Rita Marley has adopted 35 children in Ethiopia and works assiduously to impact their lives in a practical and positive manner. In 1996, the Jamaican government awarded her the Order of Distinction OD, for her outstanding works and accomplishments, which are numerous. In the meantime, fans continue to praise Rita Marley for her strength and courage being around Bob Marley in perhaps the most tumultuous period of his life. It should be noted that despite all the hullabaloo, both women played a crucial role during Bob Marley's last days, and the question on who the real Bob Marley's queen is up to the legend to decide, but unfortunately, he is not here to give an answer to the question. Thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe. Give it a like and post a positive comment in the comment section below and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Many thanks for watching Reggae Gist Extra with Ras Dennis.